Did reconnection successful? Alright, hopefully it's coming back. I hope this is working. Yes, it's working. Hmm. It's kind of in a loop, he says. Please. I can do something tricky. Put this on the other side. Oh, MTB uh, Gab's here. From MTB Quebec. Oh. oh. Okay, I think it's working again. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's working. Sweet. Oh, Phoenix Matt, how are you? Oh, and OG MTB. How's it going, OG? And Lifted Adventures, what's up? Okay, I hope this is still working. <laughs> oh, we got a Japanese. We got oh. some Japanese in here. Okay. Hello, Graham. How are you? Where is it? Uh, do we know each other? Zero, 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 zero. Oh, do you know them? I don't know, but they say, he say, oh, she say, oh, we met in the mountain bike trip in Japan. Oh, okay. You should say in Japanese. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. But I cannot see here. Thanks, Ryan. I, I, uh, I hope this stream... We switched uh, from the Lowe's Wi-Fi to my phone Wi-Fi, and it's. I think it's working a little better now. Thanks, OG. Yeah, we, I did a live stream. I uh, tried trying to ride my bike with the GoPro, and the GoPro live streaming does not work well at all. Uh, I used to use a Garmin, uh, but I don't have that anymore. So I tried the GoPro. I don't recommend. Oh, more Japanese. Should I? Thanks, thanks, MTBQC. So uh, MTBQC is Gab, and he was in. Uh, the, the Wolverine video uh, in Quebec City and that video actually went on to get over a million views which is absolutely crazy um, but that trail was super rad so it totally deserves a million views and um, uh, Gabe joined us later in the video for um, another trail called Slab City which is also very cool like a massive slab in the forest so yeah Oh, do you know who they are? Uh, no, he say uh, he knows us from the video. Oh, okay, okay, yes. yeah. There was other Japanese in there yeah. too. Uh, yeah, Flipro. Uh, he uh, he say he's watching from Japan and they love us so much. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Domo arigato. Um, Kia ora from New Zealand. Oh, we we really want to go to New Zealand. <laughs> I was there on a weep in there. We were, that's where we met, yeah, actually. Yeah, we yeah. Yay, we're back. Yeah, I hope this is uh, going to work better this time. I'm using my phone's Wi-Fi instead of... Uh, we were stealing Wi-Fi wi -Fi from uh, Lowe's. <laughs> and um, it was working for a while, but I guess uh, not anymore. So, yeah, if we go over to the UK, yeah, I'm definitely going to go to Wales. So I... If you look on Trail Forks for the UK, there's trails everywhere there. Like it's it's kind of overwhelming just looking like just I just have to ask like where where should I ride? But yeah, and congrats uh, to Yuka for 10k as well. Yes, uh, single track Manta. 
Thank you very much. It's single track mania. Mania. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're killing it too. Very well happy. Oh, Victor huh? Bautista. Remember we were doing that ride at Mount Wilson in LA? And then at the end of the ride, uh, a guy shows up in his truck and he's, he's like really excited to meet us. Yeah. And he... And uh, we did picture and gave him some stickers, oh, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then he leaves, and he comes back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's he's brought us Coke? like Coke yeah. and popcorn. Yeah. We're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> they, oh, is it here? Yeah, that's Victor. Ah, okay. Thank you for the Coke and popcorn. That was really good popcorn. Yeah. Yes, it's that his was, fa his favorite. His that, favorite. And that was perfect after that ride. It's yeah. a really big <laughs> shuttle, really long ride. Yeah. And then yeah, we finally get. It's a good thing you didn't come a little earlier because we had just had a shower out of the back of the van. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, we don't really feel awkward, but, you know, you might feel so. Yeah. Um, anything? Anything what? Uh, I'm just reading the uh, comments. Oh, okay, okay, okay. OG says, you are the most fun, Yuka. Oh, really? Oh, we should go to Australia and... and uh, it has some bomb trails. Yeah, I'd love to go. I want to go to Derby. Where is it? In Australia. That's on in Tasmania. Tasmania. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. Was it awesome? There. But you didn't that ride then. Awesome. No, I was not doing mountain biking yet. Yeah. So. But yeah, that's one place I'd love to go. Yeah. Thanks, Leo. Where are you guys right now at? We uh, are. Ranger. Yes. It's uh, we are Asheville. We're in Asheville. North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. How's the van coming along? Hey, Lucas. Yeah, the van oh. is not that much different. What? No, look, look, this. Yeah, yeah. Finally, we added the window cover like two days ago. Like last night, we finished last yeah, night. Yeah, we added uh, like this reflective stuff all yeah. over the van. I don't so, know if you can see it in the live stream, but yeah. You it's, can kind of see it. Yeah. Yeah. And it keeps it so much warmer inside, and then you can also like so warm. have a little <laughs> bit of privacy instead of living in a glass box. In the yeah. night, we can use light finally. Oh yeah. Nobody, we we stay in dark in the night. Yeah, because we don't want to like people to see. Yeah. But. But no. Yeah, it's just forty dollars, and we could cover whole windows. Yep. But we still like to see the light in the morning, so like we just take that off. But now we can live stream. In the van as well with this setup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever get the O's? My dad hasn't said anything, OG. Yeah, OG sent me mm -hmm. some. Well, was, there's supposed to be some stickers sent to my dad's house, and uh, my dad hasn't said anything about that. So, yeah, like uh, it's hard for people to mail me stuff, so I get them sent to my dad's house. Um, and um, a lot of times, I don't know, everything else showed up, so I don't know why. Okay, oh, hello from Puerto Rico, Louis Louisiana here. Oh, yeah, Louisiana. I think we want to go there, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, we want to go to New, Orle New Orleans. New and Orleans? We eat some uh, really good food. Okay, yeah, I like good, good seafood. Food, yes. Um, North Carolina, just six hours... Oh, St. Augustine, Florida. Nice. Yeah, go to Bailey's Bike Park. Yeah, so we we do plan on going to Bailey's Bike Park. We're, we're going to go. Uh, that next weekend? Yeah. Yeah. But don't say exactly when. <laughs> yeah, but it's open only weekends, so like... Yeah. Yeah. You can probably, <laughs> you can probably figure out which day we're going. Yeah. But, um... Are you going to try any trails in Texas? I really want to try Spider Mountain in Texas. That's like the only year-round lift access bike park. Uh, only lift access, access bike park that's open year-round. And I want to try that place out. It's, it's pretty interesting. So uh, probably I'll, I'll send um, Eric from No Front Breaks a message uh, about that one. When, when we eventually get over there. I don't... Let's see here. I guess I'm connecting to roads still, yeah? Yeah, that's good. Mm. Don't don't connect to my Wi-Fi. No. Yeah. Uh, have you ever been to Germany? 
No. I, so I have been to Germany. Yes. But that's uh, not at a time when I rode mountain bikes. So we'll go back. And like we said, we want to ride, uh, bring the van to Europe and ride there for like a year. And yeah. uh, I think that would be pretty sweet. And then, of course, Germany would be in in the in the list for riding. I know there's bike parks in Germany. Uh, and can we uh, just drive to like uh, Russia and Mongol and China? And I would love to go to Russia, but apparently the visa... It's really hard to get a visa there to, uh, to enter. Yeah. But Mongolia would be cool. I think that's easier. Mongolia is good. Yeah. Stop here on the way to Texas. Um, what's the state called? The initials are OK. Oklahoma? That's where you're from, Phoenix, Matt, right? Oklahoma. Um, I always thought you were from Phoenix until you said you told me you were from Oklahoma. <laughs> I missed. Flarex said he missed Canada, which is Trevor from Trail Forks. Oh, Canada, yeah. Oh, that, it's such a small world. He was riding opposite when, when I was. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I saw he was shuttling on uh, Instagram. That's hilarious. You guys should run, come ride uh, SoCal. Well, we have ridden there, and I think we're probably going to. Have you ever ridden in France? No, I have not ridden in France. Yes, we'll ride the Alps. Would you ever consider moving to Wales, coming to Wales? Yes, I would. Uh, I mentioned earlier that on, I guess, the previous live stream that we would go to Wales at some point. Hmm. Favorite trail in Highland? Good question. Highland. Now I have to remember the names. Yeah, me too. I just kind of um, Google it. So that blue trail, the blue flow trail was very good. That was one of the best blue flow trails I've ridden in a bike park. Um, what was it called? Let me just check, look on Trail Forks Highland. Lead them up. And then Northeast style was definitely very cool, although that pink bike drop was uh, a little bit too much for me. Oh, the blue, oh, the blue trail is called Cat's Paw. Remember? Oh, yeah, Cat's Paw, yeah. That was really good. That was really good. And then Hellion was really fun, too. Oh, yes, yes, the black one. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, we did some of the techie ones. Um, I wasn't as into those. They're very like um, rocky Eastern style. Yeah, they're very technical actually. They're quite yeah. difficult, and it it seems like it's just like a lot of random rocks and a lot of stuff to catch you out. Um, I don't know if you ride a bike park. We just wanna ride from nice trail. Yeah, I like jumping times. a lot. I like jumping a lot. Um, so yeah, Cat's Paw, Northeast style, and Hellion were probably my favorites. Uh, Konnichiwa says Larry David. Hey, Larry hey David's in the chat. Oh, Kirby enthusiasm. You don't know him, do you? No. He's the, he wrote Seinfeld. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He's a nice guy, but I don't uh, I don't think that's a real real Larry David. <laughs> I don't think he's into mountain biking Are or you? YouTube live streams. <laughs> um. Oh, should we open one now? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have those rare Kit Kats from Asheville. Oh, they're, no, they're not from, they're from Japan. From Japan, but we bought it in Asheville. Okay, so we went to this, like, it's like this Asian food store. Yeah. In Ashland. Yeah, Asheville. And, or Asheville, yeah. And they had all these, so in Japan they have these, so uh, obviously in Amer North America they have Kit Kat, right? But Chocolate. it's not the same. In North America, they just have one flavor, chocolate, with the, the cookie inside. But you might see like a matcha, matcha Kit Kat. No. Oh, yeah, I have seen it. Really? Yeah. Oh. Anyways, so, but in Japan, they have all these different flavors, often by the season. So, yeah, we'll let's just do them. one at a time, then we'll explain each one one which at one a time. Which one should we eat first? Okay, yeah, should we list it off? Okay, so this is like cranberry and nuts or something? Yeah, nuts and cranberry. Nuts and, and cranberry, yogurt. yeah, and okay. This is mint chocolate. Oh yeah, mint, okay. And this is salt and lemon. Salt, lemon. Salt and lemon. I don't, I've never heard of that combination. This is a Japanese sake, cherry blossom sake. Yeah, actually we, we had this yesterday already. I couldn't, we couldn't yeah. resist, yeah. yeah. And this is the sweet potato and red beans. So this is very Japanese. Very Japanese flavor. Yes. And this is kumamon. Kumamon. 
He's a very famous mascot in Japan. And uh, yeah. So let's see what people say. Oh, Phoenix Matt says mint. Mint? Yeah. Okay. Larry David. It's really me though. Larry, are, are you on Instagram? Send me an email, Larry. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> what? Are you on Instagram, Larry? I don't think Larry David's on Instagram. <laughs> oh, Japanese uh, comment. Kit Kat. Uh, there's so many uh, different kind of Kit Kat. Yes. Salt those, lemon. Those are from Japan, imported. Oh, is this in Japanese? It's Japanese. We yes. have to say it in Japanese. They don't understand. Ah, ko Nihon kara no. How do you say? Yunyu, yunyu hin. Uh, the mint. All right. See you, Ryan. Long bye Ranger's bye, Ryan. out. He's got to do some editing. Okay. Cause... Do good job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want to... Mint, okay. I think mint is probably the... Mint is yeah. not bad. It's, it's not bad. Just to right. share one, okay? Right, okay, let's, let's just show the whole package mm. on the screen. Let's see if we can see that, actually. Uh, BC Kid, mint, uh, mint, something. mint, I hope mint. you can see that. The, the stream is a little laggy. but uh, And it says premium on it? Yeah. Must be really, I don't know, um, minty. Yeah. But I like... it. Must do you, Have you ever heard of After 8? It's like a chocolate mint chocolate kind of uh, snack thing. Yes, we like. It comes we in like, like a little mint. square. Yeah, maybe you know it. Mm, know. Okay. Have you eaten chocolate mint uh, ice cream? Uh, yeah. Some people think it's uh, like a uh, toothpaste. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat. All right. It smells minty. Oh. Is it good? Tastes like chocolate and mint <laughs> in a in Kit Kat form. It's not that surprising to me. It's like uh, after eight. You can imagine it's a chocolate mint taste. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It's really like minty though. It's really strong. No, oh, Larry David says he's not really <laughs> Larry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. I'm I'm happy that you're a fan of Larry David because I definitely am too. Oh, Richard Smith, he wants to know how we met. Do you want to uh, answer that? How we met? We met in New Zealand. So there's a really popular hiking trail, like three, four days hiking trail. Yeah. And we doing both doing the same hiking trail. Yeah. And it was raining. And he was wearing garbage bag, <laughs> and walking. It's so strange, right? Like, oh, he's so strange. And then in the night, in dinner, we have to stay uh, a hut. Every night, we have to stay same hut together. He's eating like a cookies. Like, <laughs> oh, you don't have any food? Yeah, well, I wanted to bring trail mix, but it's too expensive in New Zealand. So you I just bring like a meal, you know, it's dinner. Neil. Mm. Well, I actually, so I went on this trip at mountain biking and I didn't bring any like backcountry camping gear or anything. So I was just kind of winging it. And, yeah, so you know. in the night we eating like really nice meal in the hat and mm. he's eating cookies and like uh, some snack. Yeah. So I gave him miso soup, instant miso soup. It was so good. Okay, you can have this one. Yeah. And he fall in love with me, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, after I was getting pretty sick of those cookies. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> yeah. Eating four days, same thing. Yeah, it was a four day hike. Yeah. With three three nights. And I was definitely getting kind of sick of those cookies for sure. And uh, that miso soup was pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So after finishing the hike, he just asked me out, yeah? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then after that? After that, and he asked me if he wanna, if I wanna traveling with around Australia, no, New Zealand together. Oh yeah. So he was traveling with, uh, with your band, band. Yeah. And I go, I said, okay, I can go with you. Yeah. And we start traveling together. Nice. Yeah, and you, you quit your job. Yeah, I was planning to quit my job anyway. So oh, okay. I just quit my job like two weeks earlier. Mm. And with you. So the moral of the story is that I lured her into my van and then uh, we started, I drove around New Zealand with you. <laughs> yes. Do you Shady, isn't it? Should we talk about the cookies story? Oh yeah, the cook. yeah. So the first time I, s I met you, 
Yes. You're on a bunk bed. Yes. In uh, one of the huts, and uh, you're reading Harry Potter. I brought a really thick book with me. Yeah. Yeah. Really big book. Really big thick book. You were reading that book for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And um, she had like a little box of cookies. Yes. Next to you. And I. Do you want me to say it? No, I ask him. Oh. Should I say it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she says to me. She says to me. Do you want to eat my cookie? <laughs> If you are Japanese, you don't know what's wrong with it. Like, <laughs> do you want to eat my cookies? No. Do you, do you want to eat my cookie? Yeah. Do like, you want to eat my cookie singular. Singular. Yeah. And then my cookie. You know, do you want to eat <laughs> Like, if, if, you, if this is a second language, like, people wouldn't know. Like, I, just, I just started laughing. And, then and there's a lady. <laughs> lady overheard it. And she just starts laughing. Anyways. Yeah, I, I decided against eating your cookie <laughs> that day anyways so yeah it's really hard to speak english you know it is it's a, it's happened a few times something like that yeah it's really difficult for japanese people yes. to learn english and vice versa english people learn japanese because the grammar is so different yeah and uh, yeah i'm not gonna explain to you japanese <laughs> just search okay <laughs> yeah yeah Uh, oh, we got the uh, super, super chat, chat. Yes. from Graham. I love your vids, but have to go study. Congrats. Oh, thank you so much, Graham. I really appreciate that. Um, make sure you study hard and uh, you're, you're definitely, uh, you're, your head's in the right place if you're going to go study instead of watching a live stream. Because, uh, yeah, you got you to gotta do good at school. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Peaked. Oh, hi, Peaked. How are you? Peaked. Peaked, Peaked is from, uh, I think I can say. He's he's from, like, the Vancouver area. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, he signed up on Patreon. Mm -hmm. I think he's a younger guy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, he and his dad watch my videos. And they oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I read the, the message. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I think I missed another super chat here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh. Mick... McCarnickle, try see me again. There are a ton. You know, actually, I as as the the experience wasn't great with with the guide we had, but the trails were definitely very good there, without a doubt. Do you remember Simi Valley? <laughs> Simi Valley? No. It's in L.A. and it was a really green grassy oh. spot with all the kind of random rocks. Oh, and then we can see the ocean view. Uh, no. Okay. That's uh, San Luis Obispo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways um yeah i think we'll probably go ride simi again um thank you very much for that super chat mick carnickle definitely appreciated and uh i have to make sure i'm not missing these but anyways um uh, hello from ontario oh thank you it's good to have people. We didn't get to ride in Ontario this time. We wanted to ride Blue Mountain, but we decided to go to the Maritimes instead of to Blue Mountain. But yeah, um, yeah. I think that was a good decision. Yeah, next time, next time we drive across Canada, we're gonna go to Blue Mountain, I think. And maybe Niagara Falls. We we'll missed Niagara. Oh yeah, we Falls. missed Niagara Falls yeah. as well. <clears throat> oh, should we try another one? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, there was uh, somebody say sweet potato and green bean. Oh yeah, I think yeah. that's uh, Matt. Matt wanted us to try yeah. that one. Oh, and somebody asking, oh me, what, which bike I ride? Oh, do you want to <laughs> answer? No, no code range. No. 2019. The same bike. Yeah. But my wheel is smaller. Yeah, you have the 650B wheels. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Paul. Paul says they have both ranges. Yes, we have both Norco ranges. I have the 29er. Um, are you coming to VA? That's, uh, what's VA? Virginia? We just did a ride in Virginia, actually. And now we're in North Carolina. Hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, I open it. So this is sweet potato and red beans. Thanks for the congrats, Leo. You said he's in Germany. It's 1 a.m. Oh, my yeah. God. You need to sleep for yeah. tomorrow. He needs to go sleep. Okay. Yeah. This is a Kit Kat. Oh, yeah. It's... Uh... And come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Hello. Oh, little Lord, little Lord. Hmm? Oh, you didn't show it exactly. Little Lord. Hello. 
Bella. Closer to the camera. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, I have to. Okay. So red bean and sweet potato. Yes, yeah, so this is a very Japanese flavor, I think. Yes. The Japanese sweet potato and like a Canadian sweet potato is different. It's not sweet here. Do you remember we chased the sweet potato guy in Japan? Oh yeah. That was really good. That was I was a little sad cuz that video didn't do as well as I hoped. Okay. Cuz we chased we were literally chasing basically the ice cream man of yam. Yeah. Yam potatoes. It's potatoes. really Japanese thing. And um hmm. But anyway, it's super fun. So look up that video, Chasing the Yam Man or whatever, because... <laughs> yam Man. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, maybe I should have just, just made the video about that. <laughs> but I, I showed some other trails <laughs> that, that was at the end of the video. Anyways, okay, this should be interesting. Oh, it smells like a really sweet potato. It tastes like... Mm. Um, oh, yeah. It's a good mix. Mm. But it definitely tastes like... Um, I don't really taste the red, uh, bean. red bean. What, you don't? No. That's all I taste. You think there's a different? On no. One side is different? I don't think so. <laughs> no? Maybe you don't know how the red beans taste. I do. Let me switch. <laughs> I know what red bean tastes like. Hmm. No, they're both the same. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, now it tastes a lot like sweet potato. Sweet, actually. <laughs> it's really sweet. Mm, it's good. It's tasty. Leo T says there's weird content here. Yeah, I don't know what else to do on live streams, Leo. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do something. I can't. I tried to do a bike riding live stream, but it did not work at all. Maybe a few that people mm. saw that end up being a pretty much, pretty much a disaster. So, all right, Matt's going. Thanks, thanks, Matt. Enjoy, bye bye. Uh, enjoy Oklahoma. Maybe we'll see you on the way. Oh, hey from N North Carol. <coughs> hey from North Carolina. Where did you end up riding in VA? And we didn't ride in West Virginia, but we rode um, Reddish Knob in in Virginia. It's kind actually of like technically. A, it's West Virginia, right? No, it actually, when you climb to the top of the mountain, that's the border with West, West Virginia. And we did ride a little bit in West Virginia. So technically, hmm. we rode in West Virginia. That's what I saw. That's why I sing the, the country that, home. Yeah, that's why you sing. Yeah, but you're in Virginia. Most of the ride is on the v Virginia side of that mountain. Huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got super chat again. Oh, hmm. Lucas. Oh, I don't know how to say your last name, Lucas. But uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, should I try? Yeah. Box Lietner. Box Lietner. Lietner. <laughs> Lucas Box Lietner. <laughs> I may not have money for a bike yet, but you can, I can support my favorite mountain bike channel. You inspire me to work for my dream each day. Good night. Oh, Lucas. Oh, good night. Good night. Lucas, thank you so much. I can't believe you gave me your hard earned money. Save it for a bike. That that's enough. Don't don't send it, spend any more on super chats. Save up for the bike. But thank you very much, Lucas. Oh, there's so many chats. There's so many chats. All right. Yeah. Reddish knob. Yeah, yeah. Reddish knob was good actually. It was actually really a lots of leaves on the ground. It was a lot. Leaves, and yeah. also rocky. And I like to go fast, but I'm also scared to like just smash into a rock. I can't see under the leaves kind of a little bit scary actually but the lower portion of I think it was a uh, wolf ridge or something like that a blue trail that was probably my favorite part of that of that ride yeah oh OG MTB he's got to go do dishes before my wife gets home oh. love your both your channels come to Washington <laughs> we're definitely coming to Washington but if I recall you're in Spokane um, hopefully we can ride in Spokane someday what are you recording on Phone or camera? We're recording on um, a webcam called a Logitech Brio, and I don't think the quality is that good at all. <laughs> it's supposed to be this ex fancy 4K webcam. Um, it doesn't look that good to me. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> you butchered the name, but I'm proud. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lucas. I don't. I don't. I. I did not want to butcher your name, but uh, I. I'm. I'm guessing it's. I don't. I don't even want to guess where it's from. But um, let let me know where where that name is from. <clears throat> Are there videos of you two in Japan? Yes, there's. I think probably twelve or thirteen or fourteen. I did, if you go to my channel page, there's a playlist for all the Japan videos. so hard for me to read. I'm sorry. Craig, it's de definitely not 4K and I don't even know if I have the bandwidth to stream in 4K. But it's supposed to do up to 4K. I set it to 7, 720p just because, um, yeah, like, I'm streaming through my phone. Michael Cunningham. Congrats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Things are going crazy here. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. And next year when it's warmer, come to Southwestern PA, which I think is Pennsylvania. I don't know all oh. my state abbreviations. Yeah, it's kind it, of hard. A, yeah. Which is uh, a little fresh from a guy whose channel's name is BCPOV. I'm from BC. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess most people call BC BC, but I think most people from Pennsylvania call Pennsylvania Pennsylvania, not PA. Oh, really? I think so. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for that, Michael Cunningham. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think next time we should go through uh, PA. Yeah. And uh, Blue Devil, thank another super chat from Blue Devil. Thank you very much. Uh, keep up the awesome comment. Uh, aw awesome comment. Awesome content. Thank you very much, Blue Devil. Uh, yeah, I'm good. That's mm -hmm. basically my life now is making content. And yes. I really enjoy it. And I love the travel part aspect of it. And I love writing all new areas and I just want to keep making good videos every video I always would like want it to be better than the last video I always want to you know keep improving so yeah good 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 Isn't youtuber it? yeah good good youtuber, YouTuber. <laughs> well if you, yeah it's come a long way like if you watch my first video it's just the trail so boring isn't it <laughs> <So boring. laughs> like, you don't speak i don't actually the ironic thing is now i'm doing the raw videos yeah and i don't really talk in those either it's just raw just just the trail yeah because i can only do like basically 52 extended cut video like like the nice voiceover and music mm. a year but then i ride all these other places where maybe there's not a lot of story in that ride but mm. we still rode a cool trail so i just want to show that on youtube and um and uh, yeah, give that trail some exposure. So the one that went up today was actually a really cool one. We it was um, that I think Florence, a Caddy Hill, in Stowe. That was a really awesome trail. I, and remember, you didn't bring your camera that ride, and you're like, oh, I wish I brought that, my camera. Oh, we rode with uh, Antoine. Uh, Antoine as well, yeah. Yeah. We were oh, on the ride. yeah. yeah. Mm. That was really good, really good. Uh oh, ten dollar super chat from Nick. But it's just, um, I guess they call that a mic drop super chat. Mic drop, where they just super chat, huh. no comment. Huh. Thank oh. you so much for that, Nick. Uh, Nick Kotsman. Nick Kotsman. That's uh, that's that's how you say it, right? Nick Kotsman. Thank you so much, Nick. I appreciate the ten dollars. Um, and uh, I'm. It's definitely going to go towards something worthwhile. Uh, and. Uh, most likely towards the channel and uh, video gear or park passes or tires or something like that. So thank you very much, Nick. Oh, and then uh, Paul Mark M Markunas. Markunas, I, I feel like I'm just destroying everybody's names tonight. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, congrats on the 100K, and I'm glad you liked Highland in my home state of New Hampshire. Mm, that was good. That was really good. That's, I can see why that place is so popular. Because the the trails are so creative and interesting, mm. like some places it's uh, you have a jump trail and it's just just jump tabletop tabletop tabletop, but they're so interesting curving and like cool corners and every every jump is different than the previous one and yeah it's a great place to ride actually. Sitka says he really enjoyed the old BC bike race videos when I started. That's that's when I first started my channel, mm. and I recorded 
did the BC bike race on my chest while racing. And uh, I don't think I talked much at all. And you're maybe, racing, so you don't Yeah, really it's kind of hard to talk <laughs> while you're racing. When B, uh, BKXC did it, mm. he was definitely talking a lot more. Stopping and he, change the battery? Yeah, he stopped to change the battery. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't do that. Like, oh, the battery's dead. Well, I can't stop. I'm racing. <laughs> but yeah. um, actually, there's a couple times the battery, like I had a technical issue and I just couldn't stop. So I actually went back and re re raced those stages. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think on on the day five, I think I did that, and um, a little bit silly, but um, I just wanted to show the whole the whole stage, and I guess um, people were asking like, oh, where's the the flagging tape? The flagging tape because they had flagging tape up during the race and it was, oh, it was yeah. gone when I when I wrote it again to show it in the video. Yeah, people were like. Oh, that's funny. All the flagging tape went away. How did you know where to go? <laughs> and then like, oh, where did all the racers go and all this? Yeah, I went back and because the battery died, I, I, I and I, I didn't want to stop. I couldn't stop. So, yeah, anyways, yeah. Can't wait to see you at the first round of the Canadian National Enduro Series at Vetter. That's uh, that's over. That's a, next year. He, he, Nicholas is looking ahead. Next year? Yeah, he's looking ahead to next spring. I haven't even thought about that yet. Um, hmm. But yeah, I like racing in Giro's. And actually, the Vetter race is very good. So I really enjoyed that race. You guys should ride in Kelowna, BC. Well, we did. Well, yeah. I did. Not you. Well, well have, you, you have. I have been. You yeah. have, yeah. But without, the, without before the channel. No. But I rode um, Feel the Love and... Um, on the city on the edge of forever and there's a video about that you should go uh, watch that one time what do you guys think of oh, richard you're uh, you're repeating yourself what do you think of uh, virginia well I, we only rode the one trail reddish knob which is pretty fun and um yeah and in then, the entrance you almost crashed by the way oh yeah <laughs> the top entrance is the steps and um yeah, Alex uh, crashed there. A single track sampler, yeah. We <laughs> yeah. watched his video and he crashed right and at the top. And I was thinking about it and like, oh, that makes me nervous. And you yeah. almost crashed it. I should have just gone faster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do a Kit Kat. Yeah, Kit Kat. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Nuts cranberry or salt lemon or sake? Uh, Salt lemon. That, that, I think that's going to be a good one. To go to Mount Hood in Washington. Yeah, I should go to Mount Hood in Washington. Kit Kat. They've been making trails for ten years, and they were just released. You should check them out. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. That's a good tip, BC kid. How long have we been married? We met 2014. Yeah. Almost five years now? Which year now? Yeah, almost five years. How? Oh, yeah, almost five years. We met 2014. Yes. Yeah, it is almost five years, yeah. Because it'll be 2020. Yes. Yeah. All right, you want a break? Five years of marriage. It's, uh, it's hard, you know? It's really <laughs> <What>? hard. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what you have to say about that? Mmm, <laughs> smells really lemon. Oh, that's great. Mm. No, we didn't show the package. I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I'm so distracted. I did, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, Mount Hood is in War Oregon. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Mount Hood is in Oregon, but it's right close to the border, isn't it? It's near uh, Sandy Ridge, isn't it? I've been to Sandy Ridge. I just saw Alex Chamberlain posted a video of Sandy Ridge, of that new flow trail. And it looks really good. It was uh, it was basically ready when we were there, but oh. it wasn't open yet, and oh. um, we didn't so we didn't ride it. I see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else? I'm just scrolling up a little bit. Knoxville. Knoxville. 
Shout out to Oregon. Paul, yeah, these, uh, he wishes he was trying these Kit Kats with us, but, um, yeah, Paul, they're, I, when I was in Japan, I didn't even see them. I no, think. it's so rare, you know, yeah. so rare, that, that's why I was so excited, and then that's, that's why we spent $40 for the Kit Kats. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, can we have these five, and I'm like, do you want to spend, they actually gave us a discount, I'm like, do you want to spend $50 on Kit Kats, yes. and uh, she's like, no reply. <laughs> Like, are you, you really want to spend, no reply? <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up with uh, $50 worth of rare Japanese Kit Kats at the store. But you only live once, I guess, huh? Well, you, you, you're you happy to have those right now because otherwise you, you just need to talk. Yeah, actually, I'm happy about that. Yeah, See? we did not, we didn't buy these with a plan of live streaming with them, but it's uh, working out okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best way to boost your confidence on steeper, more technical trails? Um, ride, ride a lot of them, but I guess you can say that for any skill in mountain biking. Um, yeah, you just have to be confident. Uh, really trust your front brake. And depends if it's rock strap or it's just loose. Yeah. Steep. Loose, That's true. Root section. If it's really okay. loose, then I would. I don't know. But. I would say, so there's this old advice that they would give that you should really be off the back of your bike, like behind the saddle uh, yeah. on steep mm. stuff. And that's not really true anymore because bikes are so long yeah. that you really just want to be more centered on the bike and just yeah. like maximize that the traction you have with the front tire. I tend to be really back, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I know, yeah, there's a, like a lot of people that's their instinct. Mm. But if you go too far back, then you're going to lose grip on your front tire because you I just know. like... And yeah. Uh, and then you just get the speed. Yeah. Yeah. How do you commit to big jumps? Donald Fart. Um, so big jumps are an interesting thing. So like at the bike park, <laughs> you just do a lot of, a lot of laps, right? Mm. Lap after lap, you get more confidence with every lap and eventually you start to figure it out. The other thing with bike park jumps is that they're so big that they're in a way easier to jump because the lip is so big, your bike is going to load up into the jump and you don't really have to do much. That's me. Yeah. I can do big jump, but I cannot do small jump. Yeah. And the reason is, is that the small jump, with the small jump is your bike doesn't load up on you the have small to lip. Do something. Yeah. You have to kind of pop and yeah. almost do more more body language you have to like do like a bunny hop off of it mm. right because if you don't as as the front wheel leaves the lip the back wheel is still getting compressed and then it's going to kick you yes. going over the lip Ooh, it's scary isn't it yeah. oh <laughs> it's scary that's right yeah but with a big jump the bike the the lip is so big that the bike is already compressed and the the, the size of the jump relative to the bike is that you know the whole bike is like if the jump is like this big and your bike is just on the top of that then there's not a lot you have to do to make it work in a bike park just don't be scared and let it let it be yeah let so it's, it it's kind of uh unintuitive that uh, the bigger jumps are kind of easier hmm. the reason they make they're hard is because they're it so scary. big yeah it's really intimidating yeah it's just they send you so high and so far hmm. Whereas the small jump doesn't do that, but then the small jump is, is it's uh, easier to mess up because yeah. it's a smaller sweet spot and also you have to there's more body language you yeah. need to do so. Yeah. What do you guys eat before you ride? Mm, nothing in particular. Breakfast. Today we ate a lot of French toast for the breakfast. <laughs> yeah. And we didn't eat lunch, so keep riding. So also, I'd like to say, hmm. mini wheats. I had mini wheats for breakfast this Oh, morning. yeah, you yeah. did, yeah. Breakfast of champions. French toast and mini wheats. Yeah. We bought a lot of mini wheats before we left Canada because we cannot buy mini wheats in the U.S. Oh, yeah, that's right, actually. Yeah. Yeah, maybe if, if we go to Costco, we can find them. But but not the brown sugar. Yeah, the not brown sugar the brown one sugar. is really special to Canada, yeah. apparently. And those are the best ones. 
So. Yeah, we don't normally eat lunch while we are riding. Just eat some like a bar. Yeah, I don't eat lunch while I'm riding, and I yeah. should probably just eat less while I'm riding so I lose a bit of weight. You feeding me too much French toast. I'm getting fat. Yeah, what do you think? Is he getting fat? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, a little chubby. Yeah. Saggy. Oh. She's been calling me saggy lately, and that's like a trigger. I'm like, I'm not saggy, you're saggy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. He doesn't really upset any other words, like, you know, son of a bitch. Like, he's just laughing, like, yeah. saggy. It's only saggy, you just so upset. <laughs> yeah. Why? Hmm. Because that's true. Have you ever been harassed by a bear whilst on the trails? Oh. Well, not not harassed, but uh, one time in the Chilcotins, I think I've told this story on live streams before, but uh, in the Chilcotins, which is a really remote uh, backcountry place north of Whistler, I was riding with my friend Trevor, <coughs> and um, yeah, we were coming down a descent, and I came around a corner, like around a tree, and there's a grizzly bear just standing in the trail. I didn't see it, but my friend did, and... He started freaking out. He had to cross a creek and then go up a hill. And um, he turned, and I'm like wondering what's going on. And he says to me, there's an effing grizzly bear there. Turn around and there's a really big, big bear just standing there watching us. And maybe I was a bit ignorant. And uh, it just, he didn't really scare me. Because I was like, well, he's just standing there. Hmm. And... Uh, I say, Trevor, well, just take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take a picture. So we got a picture, and then uh, eventually he got bored of us and walked away. And Oh, you guys yeah. didn't run away. That's why maybe, maybe you yeah. didn't care. Two, I think two people, and especially with bikes, you, they're probably going to leave you alone. But mm -hmm. um, definitely have bear spirit <laughs> bring with you. We did have uh, bear balls on the bikes, but we were probably moving too fast for the bear to even hear we were coming. <laughs> so... But, um, yeah, <coughs> grizzly bear. Don't mess with the grizzly bears. I'm not nearly as scared uh, with um, with black bears. You see them all the time in the Whistler Bike Park. They like to eat the grass. They're actually pretty popular, like Sun Peaks Bike Park. They were um, there as well. And they mm. just like to ch chew on the grass. So they kind of, I think they gravitate a little bit towards the, the, the ski hills because mm. there's so much grass to, <laughs> to eat. <laughs> um... So, yeah, the black bear is not, not as scary. You're cute. Yeah. Ah, Harry, Harry wrote, hello from Western Australia. I think we need to go visit Western Australia. Oh, Western Aust Australia. Oh, I love that area. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. What's the best, best place in Western Australia? Best place? Yeah. Between Perth to Darwin. Yeah? That area is so good. Yeah? Oh, yes. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Robert Timmy. He wants to be towed into A line. Huh? Robert T Temmy. Yes. Temmy. Robert Temmy wants to be towed into A line. Maybe you should tow him in. I can do it. Yeah? I can tow you in. Yeah, you can tow me in too. <laughs> yeah, you, by the end of last summer you were riding A line. Probably, really well. yeah. Last summer maybe I could jump better than you did. Maybe, yeah. Yes. In that one run you did probably cleared more jumps in one run than I have. Yeah. yeah, and maybe Highland, you went too slow. So slow? The jump, jump, jump trail, yeah, you remember? Jump trail, like that. Hellion? Was, yes, I was uh, just. Oh, but after that's you. probably because you're not going high in the air. You're just scrubbing, and then, of course, you're going to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, killing. Oh, kill. Uh, Killington, not Highland. Killington. Oh, it's Killington? Yeah, Killington. Yeah, you're going fast there. Yeah. Doing great. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, have you ever been attacked by a porcupine on the trail? Yeah. Have yeah. you ever been? You almost got attacked, I would say. No. That was so safe. He was just to try to go into the, the hole. Yeah, we were at this spike park in Nova Scotia. And he was so freaked out. You can't. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, I grew up with like uh, old Yeller and stuff, but you know, old Yeller, Yeller is a dog, hmm. and I'm pretty sure he gets uh, spined or porcupined or whatever you call it when a dog gets spiked, and uh, yeah, you don't want to mess with those things. They're gonna, it's gonna be a bad day. But uh, you were just like, oh, so cute. And he was a little bit lower too. It's take time for him to. To what? No. Oh, you want? No. <laughs> I was like, is this some kind of porcupine <laughs> movement? Oh, oh, another Japanese comment. Oh, good morning, good morning, Ohio. Good morning. Oh, is that? Is that Ohio, good morning. Is that in the morning in the Japan? Probably because it's one a.m. in Germany, so. Let's yeah. see what time is in Japan. Yeah. Um, Yuka, have you, there's a question from Skyland. Yuka, have you always loved cake? Always. I really miss Japanese cake. It's so good. And then here, cake is like a icing. Yeah. You know, coating with ice, and it's too sweet for me, for my taste. The yeah. Japanese cake, it's so good. But I always love cake, yes. <laughs> oh, but what about all those cakes I gave you? How is that compared to Japanese Oh, cake? that's good. Yeah. That's good. Better? That's good. <laughs> 9.20 in the morning. Oh, 9.21 in Japan. Yes. Yeah. They're on the other side of the world. All right. Blue Devil's got to go. See you, Blue Devil. Mm, good right. night. Oh, S Sitka had a beaver come at him one night. Well, that's... Uh, beaver? A beaver, yeah. Oh, I like beaver. Well, I don't think the beavers are dangerous. No, maybe, yeah. you know, the teeth... Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should we try the last two? Donald Fart, yes, we're into mini weights. <laughs> Nuts and cranberry or sake? Oh, there's a reply from, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, candy yeah, is. Hato. Hato, Hato san. Yes, 9.20 in the morning, he said. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Ohayo gozaimasu. Oshigoto wa? Shigoto wa? Yes. Work? Work? Is he working? Oh, he, 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 maybe he's at work. Yeah. But uh, if you're at work, then uh, I know Japanese work very hard, so you can take a little time off to watch the stream. Oh, you should, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which one? Cranberry or sake? Cranberry, maybe? Cranberry? Oh, yeah, cranberry and nuts or something. Mm. Harry wrote, are you making any plans to come to Australia? Um, we're not sure. We kind of want to go... Mm. Oh, oh. oh, it's... A... Half size? Half size. How maybe we have to eat two of these? Look at this Kit Kat. It's it's too skinny. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> the yeah. Kit Kat, Kit Kat. It's what what is fun of eating Kit Kat is just you can just break crack it, it. Break it in half, yeah. But uh, what's the what's the does it say have like double the amount of pieces? No, I don't oh, think so. Okay. Hello, it's Sivke. Sivke. It's bite size. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's yogurt. Yogurt smell. Oh, this is interesting too. You can actually see there's like. Oh, yes. You can see it's not like totally covered in chocolate. It's got some. You know, there's some, some instruction how to eat. Like uh, if you put it into the fridge and it's, it's more crunchy and it's tastier, that's what I say. Oh. Well, it was in the fridge, but I think it's warm now. Yes. Yeah. Yogurt smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really yogurt mm. flavor, isn't it? Cranberry is sour and chocolate sweet. Oh, it's really good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's alright. Mm. Oh, Harry. Harry's asking a question. Yeah. Uh, what's the question? Where's the question? Oh, I Are did you answer that. Making any plans of coming to Australia? I did answer that. He must. Yeah. Uh, it must be a little. Did I? Yeah. Hmm. Um. Oh, did I finish it? <coughs> maybe I didn't finish. It. Oh yeah. So maybe. Yeah, we we're gonna. We want to go to New Zealand in hmm. the winter twenty twenty one. Maybe hmm. for the Trans NZ in general. Yeah. And then maybe during the same trip we're going to Tasmania, maybe. 
We'll see. We're not. We're not sure. Yeah, we're not sure. It's a long time away, so. Yeah. <laughs> um. So another question. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Do you guys? Can I have that hmm? drink? Do you guys work out at a gym? Do you work at a gym? I used to, but I lived in the house. He doesn't like gym. Yeah, I'd way rather be outside. Hmm. Even though it, it might help me, I'd still... Like, I hadn't, I broke my scaphoid, which is a tiny bone here. And I couldn't ride for four months. And hmm. I went to the gym to try to keep some fitness. And what, like a Pokemon Go? Just go walking around? Yeah, we're playing a lot of Pokemon Go. Yeah. But, um, yeah, just sitting on a, a spinner or doing stuff in the gym, just... It's not for me. Not for me. I like it. I like joining the class. Yoga class. You should do yoga. Yeah? yeah he's hmm. really um, not flexible. Yeah. Not as bad as some people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, someone is from Nelson, New Zealand. Matt Arps. Oh, yeah. We've I've been, been there. there. We, we walked to Abel Tasman. It's a walk there, a hike. Oh, was it half though, yeah? It yeah. goes along the ocean, yeah. the beach. That was good. The Nelson? Yeah, that's yeah. Nelson. Near, near Nelson. Yeah, that was a really beautiful hike. That was a really beautiful hike. That was a really good hike. Yeah. yeah and nice then, beach every day. And then I raced, I did a race in Nelson called the Copper Mine Enduro. And that trail was really a lot of corners. <laughs> yeah. But some of the other stages were really good. And also the cicadas in Nelson are so loud. They, oh yeah, like Japan. You have to yell. It's so loud. Like Japan. I couldn't believe how loud but they were. But they can live only two weeks, honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I never experienced cicadas like that before. And um, anyways. Well, Canada doesn't have a cicada. Yeah, Nelson's nice. And I've, there's riding in Nelson, New Zealand, and hmm. there's great riding in Nelson, BC. Nelson is a great place for mountain biking. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Pete <laughs> asks, uh, favorite trail on the shore? Uh, oh. Favorite trail on the shore? North Shore? I, so I really hmm. loved Bookwist when I lived there. On Mount From Bookwis, it's a really technical, janky, rudy trail. It's awesome, but it's uh, not everybody's cup of tea, that's for sure. Yeah, if you're gonna go ride Bookwis after this, make sure it's dry. <laughs> I rode it in the wet, and I crashed. I think I put it in my crash video last year. Hmm. It hurt a lot, but yeah, great trail. Um, you have a favorite trail on North Shore? I was thinking, but uh, we ride, always ride the same trail, so like, yeah, like from like Seven Secret. I really like uh, John Deere, Dear John and John Deere. Oh yeah, that's on really Seymour. fun. Yeah, that's mm. like the only like fast flow trail, flow trail on the shore. Mm. Uh, except for me, bobsled is good too, uh, oh, but yeah. it doesn't quite have the same intensity. Bobsled easier. Yeah, good for beginners. Yeah. Oh yeah, Matt. Matt says yeah, super loud bugs in um, hmm. in Nelson. <coughs> New England Nar. I live in Vermont. What do you think about the trails? Actually, <coughs> we had a great time in Vermont. Oh yeah, Vermont was really nice. Caddy Hill in on in Stowe was really cool. Uh, I just posted that video today. Hmm. Um, what else did we do? We did Perry Hill. That was fantastic. Oh, yeah, that was um, we did Killington. That was really mm. fun too. And then we also did, um, near Caddy Hill, there's some kind of like little river campground or something that had a fun trail. There was only one trail though, basically. Kind of one and a half trails. But, uh, you didn't do that ride. You, you stayed in the van to work. Oh, you went with Sant one? Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. It's really tech one, right? Uh, no, it wasn't tech. It was, okay. it was flow. Um, gotta get back to work. Thanks for all the great videos. Come back and ride Santa Cruz Mountains in Central. So, yeah, we've ridden there actually. Uh, we rode with Alex Chamberlain and he showed us uh, a lot of those university trails, and they're really good. And then we also have ridden um, 
that float. I think the trail is just called Flow Trail in the so called demo forest. Oh. Yeah, really good. Do you guys have any pa other passions apart from mountain, mountain biking? biking? Passion? Uh, passion. Um, uh, music is a big passion of mine. I really? Guess. Yeah. You yeah. like music? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm always with my headphones on, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. And then in the car, mm. like not not playing music, but mm. li like listening. Listening, yeah. I always enjoy finding new music and things like that. And that um, Discover Weekly feature on Spotify is very good. It, finding new music for me. I didn't know you like music so much. Yeah. Mm. I don't really listen to music. So. Yeah, in the when we're driving in the car, we're just listening to podcasts. Yeah. So, um, what other passions? I used to work in video games. I was really into video games and making computer art and stuff, but not anymore. I'm over that now. I guess so. You don't really yeah. play game anymore. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, you're getting the new site. Well, that new site does look very good. I'm not sure if I'm getting it, but uh, we'll see in the future. I wondered if you'd bump into Phil and Hilly in Vermont. And we did. And Yuka just posted that video to your Patreon. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was a tough ride, snow. actually, because yeah. it was bas we rode the Bolton Valley, mm. and it was basically snowing. Haley wasn't there though. Oh, Haley wasn't there. Ride with Phil. Yeah, but then we did meet Haley after. Yeah, after in the yeah. ball. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was very cold. Maybe not my favorite ride ever, but we got to ride with Phil, so it's cool. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. I like to ride with her. You know, the female riders. Yeah. I needed more female friends. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, maybe next next year. Hmm. Yeah. Um. What things do you not like about the van? That's a good question. <coughs> Let me think. Well, um, what would I do different? I Next time I would probably get two sliding doors. Mm. So right now we just have one on this side. And I'd get one on the other side next time. Just because if I'm sitting here and Yuka wants to get out, she can't get out and vice versa. So, um, yeah. Uh, other, there's some other small design things that I would probably change next time. Like we have a little pantry there and it's hard to get stuff out of the pantry cause it's such a, uh, tight, like you have to reach in and stuff. So, um, it's mostly issues of design that are our fault, I think. I guess so. Yeah. And the other thing I don't like about the van is that it's not finished yet. Yeah. yeah not we'd quite. like to finish it, but. Uh, there's some uh, Japanese uh, word here. Oh, cycling daisuki. Domo. Domo. Mm, domo, thank you. Domo. Domo. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. um, New England. <coughs> Cat's part. Uh, oh, they're talking to each other. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever raced an urban DH? No. Where's that? Harry. Oh, I'm, I'm just looking at Top Chat. I think I'm not seeing everything. I see. Yeah. Okay. Urban DH. Uh, it's scary. I don't want to crash. You know. It's on the oh, concrete. Wes. Wes Bond. He's just arrived. He's late. Hello, Wes. Thank you for joining. Have you ever raced an urban DH? Hmm. Um. No. And I'm not sure I want to. There's a lot of hard concrete and metal things to hit. And it's really sharp corners. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard. And then falling on pavement. Oh, no. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know at the EWS in Columbia last year, they had an urban stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scary. What do you think your next video will be? My next video? So the next one coming out that's on Patreon right now. Hmm. What is that? What did I just post on Patreon? Oh, it was... Um, switching from flat pedals or from clipless pedals to flat pedals at Mountain Creek Bike Park in New Jersey. Oh, Mountain Creek? Yeah. <coughs> so I uh, I decided I needed to improve my my skills jumping and just overall technique by uh, riding with flat pedals. And um, 
so I switched and it was a little hard at first and later on the day I got better every time I go for a ride it uh, it's a little I'm still getting used to it sometimes like I, I still think I'm wearing clips and I do something that you can only do with clips and then I'm like oh I just bounced off my pedals so yeah uh, and then after that right now well right now maybe I could <laughs> I'm working on a bike check video right now. So um, maybe that's when I'm going to work on right after this live stream. Um, but yeah, that should be interesting. I, I've changed a whole bunch of stuff on the bike. Well, not a whole bunch, but a, a few things since the bike build video. Mm. So I'll show all that stuff and I'll tell you what I think about all the parts and all that kind of thing. So have you guys ever ridden Cumberland? Cumberland, yes. Yeah. Oh, who said that? This thing. Dustin Donovan. Yeah, Cumberland's rad. Uh, I did a video of Thirsty <coughs> Thirsty Beaver in Cumberland. And then I also did the BC Bike Race stage. Huh. There's a video of that in, Cum in Cumberland. And yeah, Cumberland is awesome. I like Cumberland. It's really yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know. I kind of want to go back. You want to go back to the island next summer? We could, yeah. The island's awesome. Maybe we'll go in the spring. Island's really good. Yeah. Van We're talking about Vancouver Island, which is just a, a pretty big island off the coast of Vancouver. And um, it's uh, got a lot of great riding, and it's pretty chill there. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Yuka. Wes, Wes is asking you a question. Mm -hmm. Yuka, how tall are you? My tiny, tiny hapa, yeah. I guess, Japanese slash white wife, is... Oh. Looking hard at the Norco you have. Opinions on the small versus extra small. So my height is... Height? Yeah, your height. My height is 158 centimeters. I don't know how many plus. It's like 5'3", I think. 5'2"? Maybe something like that. Something like that. And I'm riding small bike. Yeah. In, in the beginning, like, uh, you know, Japanese legs are so short, right? Yeah. So small size bike is a little bit like too big. Yeah. But right, I changed my saddle, but before my saddle was really thick, so hmm. I changed the saddle to a little bit thinner one. And it, I think my legs are getting grown too. You think so? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so right now I feel okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you had <coughs> the extra small range before that. Yeah. And um, that works pretty good, but I think the hmm. small fits you better. Yeah. I think it's better. Um, and the standover is fine for you. Like, is your when you're standing over your bike, is your crotch touching the top tube? No. No. Yeah. So that's good. Hmm. So yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know how tall your wife is, uh, Wes, but um, if she's a similar height to Yuka, then I would say get the small. What flavor oh. mini? <laughs> Why am I coughing so much? Yeah, it's these uh, Kit Kats. I don't think so. I have that for me, yes. <laughs> what flavor mini wheats are those? These are the Canada only brown sugar mini wheats. <laughs> I've not seen these in the States. And uh, I love them. And I think I'm about to run out, which is sad. Um, uh, if we go to Costco, maybe we can find the white sugar ones. Oh, Super Rocket says, Hi, Yuka and Eric from Japan. Oh, Japan. Hello. Hello, Super. And uh, thank you for writing in English. I can read that. What is it? <clears throat> Michael Sadfish, come back to BC. Oh, I'm coming back. Oh, we're coming back. They're no. only gonna let us stay in the states for six months, so we gotta we gotta get back there. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're definitely not <laughs> sponsored by Mini Wheats. Definitely not sponsored by. Me. It's uh, kind of an inside joke. When I did my first kind of, uh, I did a bike build live stream in my kitchen when we didn't live in a van. And I had like probably five boxes or four boxes of mini wheats on top of the fridge. Yeah. People are freaking out. People are so. So now it's kind of an inside <laughs> joke. So, yeah. Uh, there's a question. Who was <coughs> Lady? I am planning on getting a bike. Should I get an enduro or trail bike? Uh, who says that? August Lady. Oh, 
I can't see it. Hmm, here. Should I get it in Jerome or Trail Bike? Well, it depends. Oh, I, I live in, in New Jersey. The trail is pretty rocky and rough. And also ride a bike for too. Yeah, I get the Enduro bike. Yeah, yeah I, I get so. something with like 150, 160 millimeters in the back. And especially if you're riding the bike park in Mountain Creek, it's pretty, yeah. If you're riding a bike park and you don't want to get a downhill bike because it's so limiting, then get the Enduro bike. That's, that's my tip, my recommendation. Uh, let's see. Uh. Have you ever cycled in Brazil or or have something planned? Never okay. cycled. I've never even been to Brazil. I want to go. Yeah, actually, there's a whole bunch of riding there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to go. My to Brazil. Brazilian friend always say that in the, the January there's a festival. Yeah. The men wear women's dress. And oh then, yeah. And then, yeah. What's it called know. again? I, don't I forget know. what the festival in Brazil is called. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna go. <laughs> What's your recommended mini wheat to milk ratio? I don't know. Just put the mini wheats in, and then um, just uh, make sure that there's still some mini wheats sticking out the top, and you should be good to go. <laughs> what do you think about Bobo's shoulder? I saw that on Instagram. So biking, you know, biking with Bobo. I met him. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't Western. actually met him yet. Yeah. So he's out for six months. Yeah. I think he lives around here too. He's out for six months because he separated his shoulder. What happened? I don't know, but uh, in the Insta he was with Paul. Yeah. His Instagram story, and yeah. Paul's like, um, or he said to Paul, "You're bad luck," because he crashed in Squamish with Paul too. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's I out for six months. It's really tough for a mountain bike YouTuber. Like, if you can't ride, it's really hard to make content, right? depends what kind of content right if you are doing bike big gear review yeah maybe. yeah yeah well but that's what he has to, to do yeah. well when seth got hurt yeah that's what he started doing those kind of videos but um yeah six months of those videos it's gonna be hard what would you do what would i do yes uh well, I have a big list of video ideas, so I'd probably start going through the big list. But six months is really long. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I have six months of video ideas. I'm so amazed. Like, if some YouTuber posts every day. Yeah. Just That's a lot of, like, <laughs> just vlogging and talking to uh, camera. That's talking pretty, to camera. It's pretty easy, right? I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. Do you like it? Like, is it, do you like it? Mm, it depends on the person. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, maybe live stream is just like that blogging. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, um. Oh. Uh, Jeffrey Augustine, I'm sorry I ignored your uh, greeting. Oh, I can show this comment, I think. Oh, Wes says she's <laughs> five foot two inches. Thank you for oh, your, so it's much. Oh, same, yeah. Same yeah. height, I think. So, um. Mm. <coughs> yeah, well, what's that, uh kind of Japanese insult for her. Oh, Tansoku? <laughs> no, don't, you can't say that to his wife. <laughs> don't say that to his wife. No, yeah. he's, no he's going to be upset. There's this, uh, yeah. It's still like he he said that to me. I'm still a little bit upset. Like, yeah. even though it's just a joke. It's basically like, what does it mean? Hey, short legs? Hey, short legs, yeah. <laughs> uh, tans, yeah, short leg. <laughs> yes. That's funny. <laughs> oh, Carnival in uh, Brazil. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> I went to ride Troll Cutter in October. Super nice place. Yeah, Troll... Did you skid? So, Troll Cutter is a place in Japan. And, mm -hmm. um... Yeah, it's cool. We saw a dead monkey there. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's... Uh, <coughs> yeah. It's, uh, oh, and you went in October, so you probably had really nice uh, leaves and stuff. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it was cool. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, they do have that one rule, no skidding. And you actually have to sign a paper that says you're not going to skid. They're really strict. And then it, I saw on their Facebook, they're doing, like, trail work. Yeah. And they're covering up all the roots. All the, so it's really, like, very smooth flow trails. But, yeah, uh, yeah very, yeah. very strict about the rules. But you have to be really good at it, like, you know, not skidding. Oh, because we don't normally do it intentionally. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, sometimes it, it just happens. But 
Oh, now Super Rocket from Japan is laughing at that Tonsoku. Tonsoku, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tonsoku. Hello from Sugarloaf. Oh, oh really? Sugarloaf. From um, Campbellton. Yeah. Really? That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, Sugarloaf is a, uh, I don't know, probably one of the <laughs> one of the <laughs> most out of the way remote bike parts I've ever been to. Maybe. I guess so. Yeah. I feel like there's not a lot of population there to support that bike park, but it does well. Like the town of mm -hmm. Campbellton is pretty small. Yes. And then around there, there's not a lot of people living there, but it's a uh, really cool bike park. The biker is coming to Sugarloaf. Yeah. So uh, this this bike park is in uh, New Brunswick in Canada. You can look it up. I and, made a video. Uh, oh yeah, you made a video. <laughs> yeah, I posted a short clip of one of the trails. Oh yeah. Of uh, super sweet, mm. and uh, yeah, it was really good. <laughs> this Donald fart. I like this guy. <laughs> yeah. He says. Um, uh, <laughs> do you guys see many ways sponsorship in your future? And if so, how will this impact your riding? <laughs> um, well, I don't see it happening in the future, but let's just assume it will. Huh. And um, I'm sure if I do get a mini wheat sponsorship, my riding abilities, I'll, I'll be entering Rampage shortly after. It'll make me that good. Mini wheat sponsorship. I bet somebody know working for mini wheats. You think somebody knows? Oh, uh, somebody yeah. Uh, Kellogg's? Yeah, Kellogg's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You say Rampage, huh? Yeah, I can ride Rampage if I get a mini a sponsorship. <laughs> it's going to be like, it's like the the Wheaties sponsorship, right? It's a promise. Promise, yeah. Promise. Yeah, I'll just fall off the cliff, maybe. You can ride the, not the King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ride King Kong. King oh, Kong. Man. Oh yeah, if we get the Minuit sponsor, we're gonna go ride the King Kong. Yeah, this, I wanted to ride this scary. I saw a video with uh, Matt Jones or whatever yeah. riding that, and uh, even he's scared. And, and they're all good riders, and they're like, oh, this trail's crazy. <laughs> Maybe walking is yeah. uh, harder than walking down. It the, might be. Well, yeah, because yeah, they're, they're drops, right? Yeah. And it might be harder to like hike it down than mm. to actually ride it properly. Yeah. yeah. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. Mackie's wipe. Oh, I saw that too. Huh? Say the Mackie. He had a big. He, so Mackie jumped off, dropped off that uh, patio. Yeah. Oh yeah. And he just went like too slow, and he just basically went over the oh, bars yeah, on I like saw a that, yeah. fifteen foot drop or something. And he broke collarbone. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I think he probably no. got away with it pretty good. Like, it could have been a lot worse, but, oh, man, that was a bad one. It's going to be interesting to watch Bobo's crash. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what okay. Is it Free Austin asking where are we now? So we are in the Asheville. Yeah. And... Would you ever do the Mega Avalanche? <laughs> yeah, that question came up earlier. I, I'd love to do that race. Um... But I'd also be pretty nervous. It's also, the fastest times are like 40 minutes. And you're racing the whole time. It's crazy. Which one? The Mega Avalanche. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, should we do another uh, Kit Kat? It's last one. Last one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sake? Sake. Oh, yeah. Let's show it to the camera. Here. Let's show it to the camera. Oh, yeah. This one is uh, oriented a little different. So this is a sake flavor. So if you don't know, sake is like a, a rice wine in Japan. It's alcoholic. And actually this, this Kit Kat flavor is actually slightly alcoholic. Um, I don't think we're going to be drunk on it anytime soon. But um, yeah. And uh, actually uh, this one's probably not going to be a surprise because we know what it tastes like already. But it's more like... A Amazake, I don't know. You don't know. Maybe Japanese, no. <laughs> what is Amazake? Amazake. Is, is it the flour? No, no, it's like a sweet sake that like kids can drink. It's not really alcohol. It has, doesn't have alcohol. Oh, but really? Made with the rice, the same. It smells so yeah. good. 
And it's like a, so pinky. It's cute, huh? Yeah. The pink color. Pink color. Yeah, I'll show it. Pink color. And it smells like really mm -hmm. amazake. Yeah? Yeah. Mmm. This is maybe the best one. You like this best? Mmm. Mm. Or maybe. This one is like most. Doesn't have. It's not sweet as much as others. Mmm, yeah. Mm, maybe that's why. It's a, kind of a delicate flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I feel like such a snobby food critic. It has a delicate flavor. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Well, Sue Prockett said he started mountain biking because he saw our, my video. Or your our videos. Oh, thanks for riding. Mm -hmm. And thank, make uh, mountain biking in Japan even bigger, Sue Prockett. Isn't that cool? Maybe it's That's if you cool. scroll down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love hearing that. I want, uh, I want everybody to ride. And I want the scene in Japan to get really big. Because um, there's not enough people riding in Japan. So... Oh, yeah. the real Shafto. Have you guys reduced your Coke intake? Oh, we don't drink Coke anymore, except we go eat out. Yeah, if we eat out, we'll drink Coke. But yeah. um, right now we're drinking we healthy, little bit bubbly water. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we eat. So we eat um, basically carbonated water with flavoring. And uh, you want to drink this? Yeah. yeah. It's, um, yeah, this one's grapefruit. So yeah, uh, we've reduced the Coke intake by a lot. We've gone from like 140 calories a can to zero. Yeah. And it's good. Is it maybe cheaper? Yeah. Is this cheaper than Coke? Oh, probably, yeah. Ugh, so good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's in that cup? Milk for your mini -wheat? This Donald Fart guy, he's a real joker. Yeah. <laughs> Hello from Vancouver Island. Eric, how's your SR Sun Tour suspension been? I've been wanting to buy an Enduro and looking for budget options. Yeah, the Duralux has been great. So the Duralux is the fork I have on the front of my bike. I can service it. Actually, yeah, there's a video of you so serving. So easy to service. <laughs> so you don't have to bring it to the bike shop. You can just do it. Yeah, actually, the servicing yeah. is really easy on it. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, it's uh, been really reliable. Like a lot of um, every Fox and RockShox fork I've owned has had like creaking issues. And uh, Suntour has not done that. And um, yeah, I've been happy with it. In the back, I'm running the Tri-Air. Uh, you'll, you'll see this all in, uh, I have a bike check video coming out soon. In the back, I have the Tri-Air and I really like that too. And you can tune it. Um, all with uh, volume spacers like in the positive chamber and the negative chamber so it's really tunable and um, yeah so I wouldn't hesitate to run SR Centaur on on your bike if you're looking for that budget option for sure okay Richard Smith say what are the biggest jumps that you have ever hit what are the biggest it's a little bit up you just missed it oh yeah I yeah. see it oh are you getting a better feed than me Yours just seems like uh, more up to date than mine. Oh, it says 67 people watching. Mine says 55. And I have the, the dashboard. Anyways, um, so what's the biggest jumps we've ever hit? Maybe Whistler Bike Park, right? You know? Yeah, I think the biggest jump is probably e either the moon, moon Rooter or that GLC jump. the GLC jump at the end. The ski jump is big too. Ski jump is big too. Yeah, I've never the big on the big side. Oh, yeah. the left side that's really big. I never hit one, but some people say it's easier because you don't have to, you know, oh, really? go right. You can just go straight, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I've hit the ski jump once as well. Hmm. It kind of makes me nervous because it's shaped like this. It goes like this. This is the lip, and then there's like a little edge here, and then it goes down, and then the table's like this, and then the lining's like that. So it kind of freaks me out a little bit because of yeah. that. It's because it's it's uh, the landing's lower than the lip, mm. and it's it's quite big. It's really big. Yeah. It's not big this way. It's really long. Yeah. Yeah. Moon Buddha is just it's really big this way. The Moon Buddha is mm. really big. Yeah. But it's kind of 
hard to screw up because the lip mm. you're coming down and you're if you're going up the lip for so long mm. that your bike's already loaded up there's nothing really you can do wrong on it don't break that moment and that yeah don't screwed. break, don't break. <laughs> yes yeah. but um yeah oh i saw somebody say that uh, hitting the tomb tombstone is uh, his goal Tombstone. Which one's that? Oh, yeah, there's that the option. A, yeah, option one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that's a really good one. I, I really like hitting that jump actually. Really, that's yeah. the steepest uh, jump on the airline, I think. Oh, it is. The steepest this way. Oh, Bar I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, that one for me just works really well. Like, and then you can land a bit short and it's fine. And yeah, yeah. it's just the uh, hitting really high. That's mm -hmm. that's. that's it sends you quite high. Yeah, that's why it's scary, right? Yeah. I never actually hit that one. Hmm. I bet you, you'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one's fun actually. Yeah. I like big jumps actually, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like big jumps. Mm. Okay. Hello from West Van. <laughs> Can you do the uh, Cypress, more Cypress trails? I should. I did one video with Jordan Boostmaster, and it was good. Um, I love those trails. Um, Which one? It's actually my favorite mountain in North Vancouver. And uh, I haven't really done very many North Van videos at all, actually. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, here in Vermont. <laughs> hmm. Michael Satfish say, do you have any coffee crisp? We used to have a one big oh. box of coffee. It's not only coffee <clears throat> crisps, but the Halloween candy box we got from Costco. Really bad. Yeah, we it's bought really a big ha Halloween coffee box, a co box of coffee crisp, and mm. it's good. <clears throat> yeah. It seems like we just punish ourselves, you know. She made a rule: we can only have one candy a day. When we bought, yes. Yeah, but and then we end up eating like five of them a day. Or more. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and oh, uh, uh, are they talking about the tombstone drop or the tombstone jump? I think it's jump, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, New England, England Nara is talking about the tombstone drop. What's the drop? Where is it? Oh, Super Rocket just uh, dropped a huge amount of kanji here. You have to oh, translate oh, oh, okay. it. Translate for that for everybody. Yeah. Y'all planning to go to the Philippines to go riding? Are you from the Philippines, Marshall? I, I'm always down to go somewhere interesting and new to go ride, and Philippines sounds like just that. Um, so no plans, but obviously, I'd be happy to go to the Philippines. <laughs> I really love Asia. I love I love the food there, and yeah. yeah so should I translate into Japanese? Oh, I just re read it up. Oh, it. okay. Yeah. Oh, the Japanese is okay too. I can read Japanese, and yeah. I can translate to ja uh, Japanese English too. So, soup rocket say. Uh, Yeah, what is Super Rocket say? Oh, just a moment. Oh, from our video, they feel uh, it's so hard to, it's so hard to. <laughs> Yuka's just adjusting her underwear so it yeah. doesn't fall down. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to translate, you know. Yeah. Um. Oh, the Super Rocket just started riding mountain biking because our videos. Oh yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, in yes. English. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And he's scared of jump, but uh, he's happy to know the mountain bike world is so fun. Yeah, it yes. is fun, yes. and uh, yeah, I want it to be even bigger in Japan. Yeah. The riding in Japan is awesome. So I, beautiful. We just need a, a bigger scene there, mm. and uh, so maybe more free riding as well in Japan. Oh, they're talking about Highland. Uh, tombstone drop versus the pink bike drop. What's the tombstone drop? Where is it? Uh, I don't know if we saw it. Is it? Where is Unless it's that, uh, the one that uh, Gavin showed us that he did and I didn't do. That big, the one off oh, the rock. Oh, the rock one? Maybe, but I think it's probably something else. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. The BKXC has also quit the co 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 has he? Co co How come I'm not seeing those chats? Huh? You don't see it? No. 
I don't know. I think it's mistyping, right? It's cork. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Let's see what else people say. Okay. Um, I think they're all talking to each other. <laughs> Do you ever get often get trigger fi fing finger from mountain biking? Do you mean like the claw, where you're like you're riding, yeah, you're like, uh, and then you just like can't even move your hands after? Oh, I think it's just the like, the, how do you say? It's just snapping, right? You snapping? Like, yeah, like I, I don't know how to say. Oh, it. yeah. Uh, uh, I don't get that much after a long day in the bike park. My hands do get sore and they're like, it's hard to hold on to the bars anymore. But that's pretty rare. Um, so I don't really, and I don't get arm pump that much unless it's, I'm, it's a really long, like, run. So, yeah, I don't really get that that much and I don't really have any good advice for it. So, sorry oh, you, about that. You, you read the Japanese comment? Did I? Oh, no. Because fishy it, boy? Yeah, fishy boy also saying trigger finger. Oh, trigger finger? Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, he said that in English, and now he's saying Japanese. Oh, okay. Did he? Is he Japanese, or does he say the? Or did he just translate it? No, I think he's Japanese. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. <coughs> uh, let's see. I I, I see some of the chats, but it seems like Yuka sees more chats than I do. I don't know why. Really? Oh, Paul asks, how do you like the WTB tires? I run the Vigilante and Trail Boss. Yeah, I like them. Uh, right now I'm running the Verdict up front and the Judge in the back. And actually, uh, that Verdict is a new tire and I really like it. I think it kind of completes um, WTB's mountain bike lineup. Uh, before, the most aggressive tire would be the Vigilante, but now the Verdict is one step even more aggressive and I just want the most grip, grip possible and that's what that tire gets me. Oh. And then the, <coughs> the judge in the back is awesome too. It's basically the b rear tire equivalent of uh, the verdict. And um, yeah, great, great tires actually. And that, I haven't had any flats on them either, surprisingly. Um, tires are getting really good nowadays. I, re I remember even four or five years ago, <laughs> I would get probably five or six flats a year. So <coughs> you made a video from the Highland, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, okay. yeah, I so did. So now the first at, uh, say, I think everyone in the chat wants you to make a video at Highland. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Ed, make a video yeah. with Gavin. Yeah, there's a video of Highland. Everybody, go watch it. Um. Oh, Jose, Pablo, Villalba, oh no, the two L's is going to be like a U.S. sound, right? Villa, Villalba, Vega. Hi, boys. Uh, thanks for your video. Or, hi, boys. You're a girl, too. Hi, yes. Hi, boy I'm and girl. girl. Yes. <laughs> thanks for your videos. <laughs> Salute from Costa Rica. Hello. Uh, watch your still Ked Hill video today. It's super sweet and thanks for the promotion. Oh yeah, that that trail is pretty unbelievable. That's uh, one of the best built flow trails I've ever ridden. It's like a pump track and super awesome. Super awesome. And you didn't bring your camera that day. No. Yeah, that was a really good trail. Um, and the trail's called Florence, by the way. <clears throat> And you guys are coming back to BC in the winter, right? No, we don't go back to We're not coming BC. back in the winter, no. no. Um, oh yeah, Paul says uh, the tough casing is pretty rugged. Yes, it is. It's uh, kind of a nice uh, middle ground between like what others would have as their DH casing and kind of enduro casing. It's kind of, I feel like it's <laughs> kind of halfway between there. So it's it's pretty sturdy, but not too heavy. Uh, I'm running the the light casing on the front tire and uh, yeah no flats on that one either it's been great <clears throat> we would kind you kind of <laughs> ask you for another highland video well maybe yuka can make a highland video did you use my footage no i didn't 
Oh, eh? No. You didn't use my footage? No. So uh, you can make your own Halloween video. It's going to be kind of the same story, but um, with Gavin. Or you can do you can do the writing we did before we wrote with Gavin. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Robert is off. All right. See you, Robert. Um. BC Kids says, have you heard of the dialed bike team? No, I'm not sure if I have heard of that. I have have you done any on huh? Have you done any analysis to see how many subscribers you can add to your channel? No. Yeah, I and I don't so. even know hmm. if that's possible to see how much how many clicks I'm getting from Yuka. Do you even link to me? Do you ever put a card? Go to BCPOV? Sometimes, yes, I do. Yeah. Sometimes, yes, I do. Sometimes. Do you ever say at the bottom of the video, I vote with BCPOV? Check out his channel. I say that for you. Do you? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Eric, it's me, Will, <laughs> under his dad's account. I don't know. Oh, yeah? Will, does your dad know you're using his account? <laughs> he's, a, he's a moderator, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, for yeah. context, everybody, Will is uh, Quinn's son, <laughs> which is a good friend of mine. And, Will, how old are you? You're probably, like, 9 or 10, something like that. Anyway, I'm going to send uh, Quinn a text, or maybe I'll send it after. That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> Um, I love you, Eric. I always watch your videos. Thanks for watching the videos, Will. <laughs> I think queens are watching uh, this. You, together, may, you yeah. might be. I you think might so, be. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> pretty funny. <coughs> oh, G Golden oh, Saltis. Uh, Will is 10. Oh, he's 10. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Thank you for your first person perspective videos and commentary. I've not rode in 20 years and it brings back great uh, memories and emotional highs. Well, I'm glad I can do that for you, Golden Solstice. Um, yeah, uh, that's what it's all about is um, huh. getting people stoked on riding. And, you know, you can't ride all day, every day. And uh, especially if it's winter or there's other reasons. So if, if you can get some enjoyment out of my videos uh, that's fantastic so I appreciate thanks for watching fishy voice thinks I'm on uh, top chat well uh, I was on top chat but now I'm on live chat so I don't know what the deal is oh yeah yeah you quite slow huh Tiffany Williams will you shout me out hello Tiffany <laughs> how's it going Oh, his dad is in England. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah, he's doing. Um, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't uh, dox him, but yeah, he's uh, over there for work. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, do you recommend mongoose bikes? I recommend Norco bikes. I've actually never ridden a, a mongoose, I think. So, yeah. Oh, Japanese comment. Yeah, from uh, Super Rocket. Super Rocket. Yes, Eric. Uh, was still branded from drinking coke. Is still what? Mm, banned. Banned from drinking coke. Yes. Yeah, not. No ban. We we just drink coke. If we eat out, we drink coke. Yeah, there was originally coke in this cup before we left. <laughs> yeah, and I put the ice ice tea though. That's ice tea. Hmm. Yes. <clears throat> Tiffany Williams, I like your videos. Hi. Oh, Hi. Well, thank you. <laughs> the new 5620 trail on Revelstoke Mountain Resort is pretty good. Exceeded my expectations. Next time through... <laughs> okay, I will. <coughs> yeah. Big climb after the gondola. After getting... Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of weird that they did that. So maybe they're going to open another gondola later on to get to the top of that trail. 
Yeah, they built this trail in a, in a, on a ski hill, mm. and then you have to ride up in the gondola to get to it. Yeah. And then you have to climb up. Huh? To get to the trail, yeah. Really? So you're paying to climb. Every lap, there's only one lap. Well, you, you every time you want to go up, you have to... Really? Yeah, you have to climb. Yeah. yeah. Weird, right? Weird. So, imagine they have some future plan to get to take another lift up there or something. But yeah. yeah, I saw that. But anyways, um, yeah, it does look cool. And I, I didn't even know they had a bike park there until, like, this summer. I, I, I think it's pretty new, though. Yeah. Artistic rider, <laughs> have you ever done videos on the Whistler Bike Park? Yes, I've done so many. So many videos. <laughs> I did a, a Whistler opening day video. Um, go watch that one. EWS, you did the EWS video too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did EWS in the Whistler Bike Park and outside yeah. the Whistler Bike Park. And um, have you ever heard of the brand Cannondale? Yeah, I used to ride a Cannondale actually uh, during the BC bike race. I, uh, and uh, yeah, it had a lefty fork and everybody thought it was weird. <laughs> uh, A-Line or Dirt Merchant? Well, at one point it was Dirt Merchant. And then they changed it. Uh, and Dirt per Merchant got really big. Really oh, big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I haven't hit the big one yet. Um, but... But now the old dirt merchant is called Root and Rutabaga, and that was yeah. one of my favorite trails. So, and I think it's still really good. The last two jump is Purorang, the new one. Oh, is so, it? So yeah, be careful. Oh. And that's where I crashed. Oh yeah. Yes. And wrecked your driller probably. Probably yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe next summer you're gonna figure it out. Maybe. Um, and then uh, yeah, so maybe right now it's A line, but uh, hmm. yeah, I, I need to spend more time jumping. It's funny, like in the summer. You get the season pass, and then you just get so busy, and then you don't get to ride the park much. Hmm. And then, yeah. Anyways. I never rode a cannon, and don't call me Dale. <laughs> Definitely watching the Japan ones after this. Yeah, they're, they're fun videos. Um, the Japan videos are about approximately when I started doing voiceovers. And my voiceover skills have definitely <laughs> improved since those videos. But um, Japan has a really cool riding. They have these half pipe trails um, that curve and go like this. And you can ride up. And it's like a bobsled track. You can ride. It's so, so cool there. And um, yeah, there are these ancient trails. They're thousands of years old. And they used to drag sleds down these trails. And over time, the more they drag the sled, the deeper the, the half pipe got. And uh, it's really unique to Japan. And at the time when I was posting those videos, people were like, oh, the eastern USA has trails like that. Mm. And I've not seen anything like that here yet. Not. Yeah. No, not like that. No, no not, not, nothing like that. It was pretty unbelievable. when I didn't even know what, going there that they had those. And we got there and I was like, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it was so cool. Anyways. <clears throat> Flowtown Stick, uh, sorry if I missed it earlier, but we are. where are you headed this winter? Well, we're going south. Um, we're going to, we may end up in Florida, I hope. Um, we'll probably end up in Texas, uh, Arizona, uh, hoping for Bentonville, Arkansas, hoping for Windrock in Tennessee. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll just play it by ear. Oh, Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow is a super fan. Mr. Chow is a super fan. Did you see his comment? No. Yeah, he mentioned Cat Island. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. uh, so that, I, so the internet loves cats, YouTube loves cats, and I totally thought that video was going to do really well, and it didn't do well <laughs> at all. And I guess I learned a lesson that <laughs> mountain bikers just aren't that <laughs> into cats. Are they? Are you? Well, I know Josh from Daily Mountain Bike Riders into cats, but uh, I like cats. Yeah, me too. And uh, but it was just a video about cats, and uh, it was awesome. 
No, I think you just don't do the blogging, the vlogging? video, yeah. so you know people are not used to it. Maybe. Mm. Yeah. Um, have you ridden D one? No, I have not. I'd love to be good enough to ride D one. Um, maybe. Yeah, I'd love to ride D one. I, you know, there's so much to do at Whistler Bike Park. And it just we just never get onto it. So yeah. yeah. Oh, fishy boy say did you? Oh yeah, we found the dead monkey on the trail in Japan. Oh, they found one too. No, we. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We oh, did. Was that the? What's he saying though? No, it's English. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Coco. Oh, there's Trevor. Trevor. Where? Trevor May has, has entered the chat. Where? I don't see him. Oh, well, you're you're like you gotta go live. You're not live. No. That's why you're, you're reading like old chats. <laughs> Where? Oh, how? Click on live. Trevor May has entered the chat. Trevor, I heard someone else was in the chat and they said, Oh, I saw Canada Kai. He was doing some shuttling or whatever and I missed him. <laughs> How's it going, Trevor? <laughs> Where are you, Trevor? Tre are you going back home? He's probably in Vancouver. We were just talking about you, uh, you, and, uh, you and your wife today. And, um, oh, I don't still see him. Yeah. Okay. Um, the real shaft dog. Cool guys. Love your dynamic on YouTube. Yuka, you definitely have a unique MTB channel. Love it. Eric, been watching your videos for a while. Feel like your videos are a visual guide book to trails. Well, thank you very much. Yes, Yuka is definitely a unique soul. I don't know if it's a mountain bike channel though. Yeah. Well, it's a bit of everything. Uh, yeah, a bit. I do a bit of everything. Yeah. Like, uh, you're gonna make a video about um, fast food restaurants. Yeah. I yeah, but we're not gonna give that away. No. But uh, yeah, as we travel the states, there's all these weird fast food restaurants everywhere. So we're gonna try some of the. Yeah. I guess better ones. More like uh, my channel, maybe more like traveling, down life. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, oh. I still don't see Trevor. Uh, I have to catch up here. Oh yeah, fishy boy, didn't you find a dead monkey in those trails? Yes, oh, we yes, did. Yes. Yeah. I'm out, good night. Don't miss the donut. We've been there and it's awesome. Ah, I found Trevor, Coca-Cola for life. Oh, you drink too much Coke, Trevor. Okay. So, I saw on Instagram. Okay. So, on Facebook, actually. So there's a picture of him eating a banana. Yeah. And people are like, wow, he's eating something healthy. And then after that, he's like, so I made up for it. And it shows him eating like cocoa puffs and chocolate milk. Oh my God. <laughs> so typical Trevor. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I think we're going to go to Bentonville. Sorry, I'm getting a little behind on the chats here, guys. Um, as Paul would say, I'll watch Cat Island video. <laughs> watch the Cat Island video twice. Yes. Yeah, please make, make YouTube realize that it's a good video. <laughs> um, oh, Alabama. Interesting. We should go to Alabama. I want to go everywhere. Yeah, I kind of want to go everywhere, too. But the, America is really big. I've been to America already. Artistic rider. Will you try a, a hardtail on a black line? Um, you know, I haven't had ridden a hardtail in a really long time, so I'd be down for that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, there, Trevor replied. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Rode Burning Windy Canyon again yesterday. Still super fun. There's another trail in the area called Ziggy that is maybe like uh, Japan Half Fighter. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, okay. We're going to have to go back to Merritt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those trails are in Merritt, BC. And actually, uh, James and I rode Burning Windy Canyon in the summer, I think, in the middle of the, uh, after the Kamloops Enduro. Hmm. It was so dry and dusty, it was sketchy. It was, it's probably a really great time to ride it now because it's uh, probably. Rain? had some rain and it's got some moisture it was so dry we're just like sliding everywhere huh. yeah don't go to alabama watch out down south it's crazy 
It can't be worse than Mexico. It can't be worse than Mexico. Mexico's bonkers, man. Driving around in Mexico? Oh, yeah, I guess. It, I didn't drive so Yeah, <laughs> it, uh, Mexico is a wild ride. Uh, definitely a good adventure, but Mexico is hmm. is like the Wild West. <laughs> um, yeah. We're out of Kit Kats. Yeah, we don't have a Kit Kat anymore. I'm coughing. Yeah. I don't know, what do you think? Should we... Uh, Wrap it up? Yeah, you guys got any more questions? Uh, maybe we're going to wrap it up soon. I got to uh, break the script for my bike check video. Mm. Donald Fart, later guys. Can't wait for that Highland video next season. Are you going to Are you gonna make one? Oh, we can make one. Like, um... Yeah? I can make anything. Like, I can make anything. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It's just going to be good, huh? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, man. Everybody's bad-mouthing Alabama now. Why? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll go there and find out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, sometimes um, people are talking to each other, so it's hard to say. Mm. Do a backflip. <laughs> I wish I can. I'm not going to opening day at Highlands. <laughs> That's uh, a little out of the way. Uh, we've been to California. There's a few videos from California for sure, but we're, I think we're going to probably drive back through California. Mm. Why don't you go to... Oh, we did go to Utah. We uh, did. I have some videos from Moab. Uh, two videos in Salt Lake City. And yeah, yeah. Latvia, yeah. Utah is yeah. probably the mountain bike capital of the U.S. Unless it's Colorado. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Chow. I got hooked on the channel after the Ranger Roll slab. Have you ever gone back? What is it? Oh, that's a really gnarly slab. Really gnarly slab. And um, I have gone back. I've not ridden it again. Actually, the run out on that slab has gotten rough. It's gotten worse. Because oh. it was just a really loamy run out. And now the roots are coming out. And um, I have to be feeling really good to ride that. What is it? It's uh, near Rock, uh, Rockwork Orange on the flank in Whistler. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should watch that video. I think I showed you. It's uh, scary. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's scary. <clears throat> Matthew, guys, I've ridden in Sandy Ridge. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, before that new flow trail is open, though. Uh, anyways. Talk to you later, Paul. How <clears throat> oh, fishy boy like the... The, the one I kept uh, riding without stopping. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the climb. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could did a video about uh, uh, climbing Lord of the Squirrels yeah, over Lord a thousand meter squirrels. climb without stopping. Yeah, and you did it. Three hours, seven minutes. And then you ate some like gummies at the top or something. And you had really dirty hands because your oh, chain yes. fell off. And <laughs> you're a dirty bird. You're a dirty bird. And we got, you got me cake later, yeah? Yeah, that's mm. true. Oh, oh, thanks so much, Ryan. Uh, congrats on 100k. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. And, um, yeah, that money will go to growing the channel even more. So, thank you very much. <clears throat> Tiffany Williams, have you met Seth Spike Hacks? I've met him in Whistler, yes. Yeah, super nice guy. And, um... You should go to Seth Bike Hack's house for those for the trails. I uh, it might happen. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, Washington is definitely the mountain bike capital of the U.S. Oh, interesting. Really, Washington? Washington? Oh, that could be true. Oh. I don't know. I think it might be Colorado. 
might be Colorado. I don't know. But Washington definitely has some very good trails. Hard to say. Oh, Con River Design. $1.99 Super Chat. Thank you very much. He says, be well. Be Thank well. you very much. I'm, I, I appreciate, I'm glad you liked the, the Stowe uh, Perry Hill video. And um, thanks for sh sharing the trails with us because they're, they're awesome. <clears throat> Zeke says, what's your main mountain bike? It's a Norco Range 29er. And he sends another $1.99. And another one, too. And another dollar. He says, safe travels on the second one. And then on uh, the third one, he says, go to Colorado. <laughs> and uh, sure, we will. Um, and uh, yeah, we have been to Colorado, but just near the border. Not, yeah, not really. Not in the, I guess, the, where the big mountains are. So we rode like the Ribbon, uh, horse, horse Thief Bench, mm -hmm. and... Um, yeah, those are awesome trails, actually. And I've ridden um, uh, Zippity Duda as well in Fruta uh, before I, had, I, I uh, had the channel, which is really cool. So, mountain biking with Jesse. What's up? Hey, Jesse, you're a little late. We're just about to finish here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fishy boy doesn't eat cake. That's sad. Fishy boy. Well, uh, yeah. And uh, the cake in Japan is... <laughs> really good yeah okay um uh, and the, he's back with another super chat just a couple beers clinking <laughs> cheers yeah, cheers cheers con, con river i appreciate it thank you very much mountain biking in colorado is so fun i think it probably is i think it's probably a little bit like interior bc with the really alp high alpine riding yeah and uh, I, i'm stoked to try it the only thing is a lot of that colorado stuff is probably best in the summer or early fall and uh during those times you want to be in bc to ride as well so it, it's sometimes there's a bit of a conflict there uh, maybe we can figure something out if, on, uh, on the way to mexico or something uh we leave leave canada early hmm. can only be in the states for six months don't want to be back when it's winter in Canada. No. So, go to New Mexico and then to like Costa Rica. What do you think? Cuba? You can't drive the van to Cuba. <laughs> it's an island. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> when are you guys going to come back through Oregon? I think probably uh, late February, probably. Um, you guys be careful of the altitude when you come to Colorado though. Yes. Um, I've definitely, I don't know if I've been sick from altitude, but I've definitely felt it for sure. Maybe one time I was not feeling great. Oh, Mexico. You no. Know, um, in Fernie, no, not Fernie, uh, Golden. We're doing, yeah. um, I had some alcohol, some, uh, oh, adult yeah. beverages the night oh. before and I maybe couple too many hmm. and uh we went up really high probably like three thousand meters maybe something like that it's that high maybe and uh we were hiking with the bikes on the back and by the top my head oh, was just pounding yeah. hmm. i did not feel good that day um where are we going next i don't know where we're going next um we're gonna do some riding around here and then i think we might go to tennessee Maybe. Mm -hmm. And then I think we're going to go south. Yep, we keep on going south. Yeah. Mm. Maybe uh, Florida. Who knows? Okay. All right. Wish you luck. I'm going for a long solo ride. Good luck. Good luck. Don't uh, go over the bars. You're going to do great. Okay. All, All right. right. Should we end it? Yes. Now I gotta click, uh, I guess, uh, bye. Okay, bye stop bye. streaming. See you. Thanks. Thanks so much for coming <laughs> to watch us in our van. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the Kit Kat thing. And uh, I did enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, of course you enjoyed okay. it. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.